everybody right apologies for the lighting it's just not good it's night time so i just had to put my light on and my light is absolute rubbish so just gonna have to live with it um but i decided i would do a makeup tutorial um but i don't know what i'm gonna do on my face so let's just roll with it i am currently filming on a makeshift stand i've got my camera on my my phone on a tripod but it's on two cushions and a book so it probably will fall over but who cares <sighs> without further ado let's get to it i'm starting off with the w7 prime magic this was like three pound or something i just wanted a primer so i just got this cheap one and I'm just flooding that across my whole face. Obviously you don't have to wear primer like if you are going to school. Um, you might not want to wear any face mook, mook? face mook? <laughs> face <laughs> makeup. Um, maybe because your skin is quite alright. But I have freckles and I do like my freckles but I do like them covered up so they're not as in your face and I also have a couple spots here and there so just want to make sure my foundation is on all day with a primer. I'm using the Rimmel London Wake Me Up foundation. This is in 100 Ivory. This was actually in my favourites video. I um, just need to use my mirror. And I'm using this Real Techniques Beauty Sponge which is also in my favourites video. And I'm just applying that all over my face. Now that's all blended in, I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Anti-Age, the Eraser Eye Concealer. Um, it's the one with the furry top. And I'm just going to put it on my face. I'm going to do a triangle, triangle under my eyes, around my nose, on this little spot down there. And yeah! The next thing I'm using is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. Um, the lid broke, so... I've just got it like this and that's in oh zero zero three peach glow I'm just applying this very lightly around my face just so my makeup stays in place I'm not wanting to go matte because the more matte it is the more unnatural it'll look so I want it quite dewy if you do like it matte then just have it matte but I don't really want to I would normally do like the full on contour, highlight, blush, but I'm just going to use blusher today as I want it to look more natural. So I'm using the Blush Heart, bleh. the Blushing Hearts by I Heart Makeup. I don't even know what colour this is in because they do loads of different but ones. But it's really, really pretty and I'm just applying this to my brush. I, I'm not quite sure what these brushes are, but they are so good and there's like loads of them in this little case and I really like them so I'm not I, I don't know where they're from or anything I got them for my birthday I'm just applying that to my cheeks and going upwards um, and that kind of gives a bit of a highlight as well so it's two in one I am going to use this palette by collection it's called eyes undercover under uh, eyes uncovered nudes bronze nude bronze palette and it has one, two, three, four, five, six colours in and they are really pretty. Um so I will I'm just gonna use ivory. Wait, yeah, ivory. We're just I'm just applying this with my finger, firstly. All over my eye. You can use primer. I normally use primer, but like like if I'm doing full on makeup and I'm not doing full on. Um I'm then using What's that called? Orca? Or Archer? I don't know what it's called, but it's it's a really pretty golden colour and I'm just applying this kind of in the crease and all around the eyelid. I'm doing this in my camera screen. I don't know how I'm doing this. I mean in my phone screen, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm lastly using Nutty, um, kind of like in this outer corner. T 
just for a bit of definition, not that you can see much, but... The next thing I'm using is the Makeup Gallery um, Call Me Beautiful Eyeliner, and it is in black, number one. Um, and then I'm going to smudge it in with this little sponge brush that came in that pack of brushes. I don't like using sponge brushes normally for my eyeshadow, but it's good for blending, so... Nextly, I am using the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator. Um, this is really old. <laughs> um, might be quite bad, but um, this is. That's why it's all rubbed off. It just rubbed off so easily. So yeah, yeah. Just going to do that to my lashes. What? Going to put it on my lashes, pretty much. You want to make sure you're getting the whole lash because I used to not get the whole lash and then my friend told me you need to get the whole lash and that's been a lifesaver so thanks Charlotte <laughs> look at the difference oh my god oh my god um I don't have very good mascaras so most of them are clumpy um but this one doesn't seem to be too clumpy so There we go. I don't really do much to my brows, um, but if I would, I would use a collection eyebrow palette or an I Heart Makeup eyebrow palette. Um, but I think the m without brows, you kind of look a bit more natural, but sometimes brows, like sometimes I do my brows if I want a bit more. Yeah. But I am now going to use MAC Velvet Teddy on my lips. And yeah, I normally use a full on lip liner um, and actually I would normally put powder over the top so it stays and it goes really matte um, but it's quite nice just by itself for a natural look. You could use like a lip tint or something but I like this one, it's quite nude but I like it. So there you go, my school natural makeup look um i probably have forgotten something really essential on my face right now but most of the time i forget when it comes to videos so okay if you like this give it a thumbs up comment down below any other video ideas especially makeup tutorials because i think i'm going to focus more on makeup tutorials from now on and like other things like that um and subscribe if you want to see more videos from myself bye yeah that's good